What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow, chilling like always with the two tiny Vatos Locos for life. Averno, Atlantis. What I got today, uh, oh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. I'm Big Elbow. Comic Hauls is mostly what I do. I'm a reader first, collector second, and bad speculator part-time. Um, so on this channel, you know, I'm, I'm looking for good comics um, with good story, uh, great artwork, and hopefully a good story to go along with it. You won't see a lot of big keys and uh, speculation books on here, although I got nothing against that, and I, I will pick up a, a hot book if I come across it, but I am spend most of my time digging in them bargain bins. If you like that, um, check out my other cha- check out my other videos. Uh, with that said, what I got today is kind of a mixed bag. I got some uh, bargain Blu-rays that I bought. I hunt. I go for my movie collection the same way I approach my my comic book collection. Um, I have a I have some uh, some comic book winnings uh, from a, from a contest from from my man Mr. Rig, and I have. Uh, small haul from a local con in Fresno that was called the Omega Con. So uh, with that said, I'm, I'm going to show those in that order, starting with the bargain Blu-rays. So if you want to skip ahead to the other stuff, give it about, probably, I would say skip ahead about, uh, say, four minutes. So uh, what I do is I buy my mostly my Blu-rays at um, Big Lots. Maybe something to look at. Um, I... What, they send me coupon, a coupon every once in a while that is, uh, uh, take $5 off of $15 or more. So I'll buy about three movies and pay about 10 bucks. So, um, that one was $4.99. Rocky, the first one, just a, a classic to have in the collection. Um, Friday for $4.99, another classic to have in the collection. And Batman Ninja for $5.99. Which, even though that one is was more than five bucks, it actually um, it works out because if you buy three movies that are four ninety nine, it doesn't quite hit that fifteen dollar mark. So you can't. Hit, so you have to go a little bit over fifteen by like ten cents or so. So I don't. I, I was cool with that. So by spending the one, so I got these basically for eleven bucks. Those three movies, and then uh, on a different random day when I didn't use a coupon. I got this um, Outrage Way of the Yakuza for $3.99. Um, I know I watched this. I don't remember it particularly because I I watched a lot of Yakuza movies in a I was on a kick for for a minute, so I kind of confuse them. But I know these ones with uh, Beat Beat Takashi are, are pretty good. What I wish I could uh, find is um, the one with him called Brother with him and Omar Epps. That's that's a fucking good one. But um. Yeah, so that was a separate buy on a different day. And then on a different day, using the same coupon, I got uh, this one uh, for $7.99. Top Gun, a classic, again, for the collection. Uh, $5.99 for The Nice Guys. I really enjoyed that movie. And, um, yeah, so, again, with the with the $5 off. And then I got the Grease 3-pack. Uh I love Grease, man. Uh, honestly, a lot of it is, it reminds me a lot of my sister. Um, those were her favorite. She really liked these movies. I remember one summer, she just watched that shit like every day. So I have those movies ingrained in my in my mind. And even before that, like I remember watching that uh, shit, watching Grease when, uh, when my mom shit, when my mom still lived with, uh, when my mom and dad were still together and I was like fucking six or some shit. But anyways, so yeah, uh, I can't really do the math right now, but take five dollars off of no, no, this one was actually it was ten dollars off of uh, tw- tw- ten dollars off of twenty or more. So that one, uh, yeah, that was so act- actually turned out to be a good deal. You figure that's um, nine plus six, that's fifteen plus eight, that's twenty three. So take uh, ten off of twenty three. So I paid thirteen bucks for the three of those. So that was cool. And then, uh, so again, shout out to my man, uh, Mr. Rigamortis. Uh, thank you for entering me into the contest. Um, these are the books that I got in the mail. I got them pretty fast. Um, let me see. So 
this is called uh, Unnatural Order, which I never heard of from Vault Comics, but it's a number one. So uh, I looked, uh, I gave it a look on the inside. And it actually has some pretty cool art. There's like some uh, Roman soldiers. Where you see Romans, you know who they're usually fighting is barbarians. So yeah, I thought that looked pretty cool, you know? So I, I'm, I'll give that a read. I probably, if I had seen this in the bargain bin, I probably wouldn't even have gave it a second look because the cover doesn't really grab me. But um, the interior art does look pretty cool. And then there was this um, Aurelia Warrior Nun and Razor. I'm not real big into that, but I think it's cool that it came with a, it looks like a CD, a soundtrack by the, by Pink Filth. I'm more of a Purple Filth guy. Mogar! If you know, you know. Um, this is really fucking cool, because I believe this is from the, uh, Mike Zek cap run, which, which I'm a big fan of Mike Zek. And I gotta say, he's one of my, he's probably my favorite cap artist. And also my favorite Punisher artist. Yeah, this is a Mike Zick issue. And just in time for uh, 4th of July, I don't know about anybody else, but um, I read Cap in July. It's like one of the things I kind of like. I read, I read Bats, I read Batman in September. Um... I read Star Wars in May. I don't know. I read. I like to read Thor on Thursdays. Um, here's a Wonder Woman Adam Hughes cover, which is a nice cover. I'm not a the biggest Adam Hughes fan, so I'll probably make sure somebody uh, a bigger Adam Hughes fan than I will give that to them. Probably my, my partner Warlock. Oh, and I meant to say uh, shout out to my sister Nicole when. Uh, when I was showing those Grease movies. Love you, sis, if you ever watch this video. Uh, here's a Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. Seems kind of random. Versus Valkyrie. Uh, enter the House of Slaughter. Free comic book day. And a random saga issue. So again, shout out to my man, uh, Mr. Rick Mortis. Damn, I can't remember blanking on his, his 86. I just, I'm so used to just calling him Rig or Mr. Rig or Big Rig. But anyways, uh, check out his channel for sure. Uh, great channel, great guy. And uh, I, sorry, but, so it was Rig's contest, but this prize came from somebody else. Um, I'm not, I forgot who it was, but thank you to whoever you are, if you're watching this. And I'm sorry, I, I, wasn't prepared and didn't uh, get the info to give the uh, proper thanks. So then uh, I went to this Omega Con on um, on what was it Memorial Day or was it Veterans Day? I think it was Memorial Day that just passed, right? Anyway, so it was a trip because there was a con on a Monday, which is cool with me because I'm always Mondays are my my nights off. So I was like, I'll go check it out. Um, and it was, it was called Omega Con and it was like, th it was surprising because it was three different comic shows combined doing a show together. And there was a surprisingly small amount of comic vendors. Um, so I didn't buy a lot of comics. Instead, I ended up buying a bunch of, a lot of action figures. If you want to see those, uh, check out my Saturday morning special summer 2024. So uh, let me show what I got as far as comics went. Um, so I got this. These were 25 cents. Why? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I know it's like uh, first 
uh, Colin Quinn as Ninja or something like that. It's some kind of first appearance involving Ninja. Either first uh, Colin King or first Ninja, something like that. But for 25 cents, I took it. Who knows? I would like to see a Ninja movie. I think that character could be could work. Um, then I got these Green Arrow books. I'm a uh, Dennis Cohen fan. And, um, honestly though, I, I am, the art is good and I'm sure the story is good. It has to do with, uh, poaching and I'm sure it has a, it has a good story to tell and, and commentary on poaching, which I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, it's, I know it's in Africa. Um, unfortunately though, man, there's just not enough action. Like I think in the two issues, Green Arrow shoots is fucking bow like maybe three times and I know it sounds shallow and all but you know for my collection these days I don't got room for that like I want the green arrow where there's more shit happening like I said the art is good and I'm sure the story's good so um but so loss of 50 cents the way I see it maybe I'll give it to someone who um I know uh who is it my man Psycho uh, Psychotronic Squirt Gun he's a big fan of I think Mike Grell of his writing and stuff so maybe I'll shoot those to him or, or somebody. Let, hit, hit me up in the comments. Um, Daredevil. Oh, you know what? I think my man 420 Partier is collecting those uh, Grell green arrows. But maybe, I don't know if he likes Danny's Cohen's art. Um, this is just a late, a late uh, Daredevil in the run and I like I know most people don't like that armor but I, I don't have such a big problem with it and I do like Scott McDaniel's art so that was a that was a dollar spent on those four books this one was um man these were like uh, a, these were dollar books but if you bought you could get six for five dollars but man I could not find I couldn't find six books in that in that box so uh, let me show you what I did get uh, this is a Baker Street number four I am I'm a fan of Guy Davis and I know this is some of his early work um, I think I'm pretty sure it's about some punk rock shit in uh, in the UK um, I think this art is really cool Who don't like some some punks, right? Some good old fashioned punk brawling. So yeah, um, I, I've heard of this series before, Baker Street. It's a random issue number four. I mean, I'll try and get a run together of that. I know they're not super pricey. Um, this is a issue of Black Horse Presents. Some nice Mr. Monster on the back cover. So um, it's a good lineup. Uh, you got Black Cross by Chris Warner, Concrete by Paul Chadwick, Zone, I don't know who that guy is, Roach Mill, which I'm in for, Mr. Monster by Mark, Michael T. Gilbert, um, Homicide, John Arcudi, and art by Doug Mankey. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this Black Cross looks cool. So, Roach Mill is one of those um, 80s black and white books that uh, that came out from Blackthorn. That shit looks wild. And... Um, I had and I didn't realize, you know, back then, I didn't realize for until just recent, uh, a couple years ago, that um, that Dark Horse had picked up Roach Mill and put out a series. I think the series, the Dark Horse series, I think is longer than the original Blackthorn one. Well, yeah, he's like an exterminator that has like roach arms. I think it started in the 80s and finished in the 90s. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was cool. And like I said, it also has this Black Cross stuff. Oh, I mostly got it for the Roach Mill. Black Cross looks pretty dope, though. I have a Black Cross ish, a comic that I need to read already. 
So that was another dollar. And then I got this. I am not a coal guy, but um, that's a badass Michael Golden cover. I'm a pretty big fan of Michael Golden. And then uh, on the interiors, uh, this it has a pretty good lineup. You got um, there's a story called Framework, uh, Charles Vess, uh, Brule's Tale, Ernie Chan, Rid Ridondo's Tale by John Bolton, uh, Two's Tale by Butch Geis, and Kuthulo's Tale by Il Bill Sienkiewicz. So off the bat with some uh, Charles Vess. There's only a couple pages. Then uh, Brule's Tale by Ernie Chan. This is more my shit right here is uh, Redondo's Tale, uh, Michael Bolton. I'm a big fan of Michael Bolton. Shout, shout out to my man, uh, Psycho, Psycho Squirt Gun. Uh, I believe he's also a big John Bolton fan. You guys might know him from uh, uh, X-Men, classic X-Men backup stories. And also uh, my man, PZ knows what's up with Michael Bolton from uh, Black uh, Black Dragon the Black Dragon and then Kudlow's tale some Ill Bill Sienkiewicz art so yeah the um, Omega Con the, I wasn't disappointed though because really I did not need to get another big ass stack of comics you know what I mean so I ended up buying a lot more action figures and I got some games um, also it was uh, it was nine or ten bucks to get in but um but because i am uh what they call in spanish a veterano that means veteran um i got in free and plus uh my nephew dallas and my, my partner warlock uh check out his channel link in the description they uh, they went with me, so that made it a lot. That made it that made it more fun, just hanging out with the with the fellas, you know. Went and got something to eat afterwards, and then came back and drank some beers. And then uh, I bought this print. Shit! Why didn't I have him sign it? Damn it! I follow this guy on Instagram, and I already forgot what his name is. But yeah, I just bought this print from him. I'll probably put that... I'm going to tape that onto my comic book box, make it look like a sticker. I just thought it was cool. He had a lot of good prints. Damn it. I follow him on Instagram, too. I can't give him a shout-out. I'll, I'll put the link in the description, though. I'll find it. I'll put the link in the description. So, uh, like I said, I bought a bunch of action figures, and those are in the Saturday Morning Special Summer 2024 video. Um is what else I bought these are gifts so uh my I'm saving holding these I, I got uh I bought my son a Nintendo 64 I'm gonna shoot those to him he don't watch these videos so I'm not worried about spoiling it but he likes that game a lot uh that's uh ready to rumble boxing and then I got this uh Wrestlemania 2000 now he grew up playing um, No Mercy you know my Nintendo 64 has always uh, it has never been put away in a box it's always been connected somewhere in the house <laughs> since it came out uh, he grew up on No Mercy but uh, he, he wants to play this one so I, I grabbed it for him and yeah, that's also 2000, Wrestlemania 2000 is a good game and then I seen this which is I thought was I, I had to ask is that legit is that real or is this just for looks? And he's like, no, it's real. You can play it. He's like, you just need an expansion pack. I was like, all right. And so I was like, he wouldn't budge. I was like, How, uh, will you take 20? Because I didn't want it. So what if it doesn't work? And he's like, oh, you, you know, and I was like, I don't know what's the difference. And I was like, uh. so I was like, I pulled out my wallet even and I had $19 in cash. I was like, well, you take, you know, will you take this? This is the last bit of cash I got. And he's like, 
we well, want to pay the rest on the card. <laughs> and uh, anyways, it's Dragon Ball Kart, which is Mario Kart with Dragon Ball characters. And um, so I was like, I don't know. He also had uh, uh, Mario, I mean, uh, Goldeneye with Mario characters. But I didn't want to risk 50 bucks. What if it, the shit don't work, you know? So I, I, I just got the, this one for 25 My son's a big... Uh, um, Dragon Ball Z guy and him and my him and his ne- and my my nephews and his cousins they like to play uh, Mario Kart so um, yeah I got that for uh, for them for him for his birthday I'll throw that with his Nintendo all together as a package so anyways uh, yeah Omega Con it was cool uh, I would have liked there to be more comics but it worked out because I, like I said I didn't need another big stack of comics I'm having uh, storage issues already so. Um, yeah that's it um if you enjoyed watching this video congratulations you got good taste show it by hitting that like subscribe show all your friends all that good stuff uh hit me in the comments if you got thoughts or questions or anything on any of this stuff um again thank you for watching and uh, thanks again to mr rig for the uh, contest and whoever sent the whoever sent those winnings through his contest shout out to you too and that'll do it uh check out my ig uh i'm gonna i should have another video next friday and check out my saturday morning specials thank you one more time thanks for watching and like i always say get off of youtube read some fucking comics <laughs>